So, would you say you're more of a stinky brie type or a hard-nosed cheddar type of guy? My general rule of thumb is the stinkier the better. Oh. Uh, where's Steve? Oh, there was some drama with the wedding menu, so he's gone off to see Tony. Well, Juliet's waiting for us, and the sooner we get home, the better. I've redecorated our bedroom, got fresh sheets, lined up our favourite episodes. You do know there's a chance you might not be discharged today. Yeah, with the kidney infection and norovirus, Juliet might not be coming home today. What are you guys talking about? Well, I'm just trying to manage your expectations. Well, she is coming home today, and she is having a stem cell transplant. You know what, guys? I'll just go on my own. There's only room for love and positivity today. Right, repeat after me. Every day, I am healing. Are you serious? Say it. Every day, I am healing. For my friends and myself, I keep going. For my family and my pairs, I keep going. Oi, stick to the script, no improvising. Right, close your eyes. Close them. Okay, imagine you're somewhere special. Like Brighton. It's a beautiful day. You're on the pier. The sun's in your face. You can hear the waves crashing on the beach. The sound of seagulls. Knock, knock. Shh. We're manifesting. Very impressive. I've come with an update. What's the news? You're clear of norovirus. You can go home today. That's amazing. We've got a family wedding at the end of the week. And I was thinking, maybe we could take a trip to Brighton before you transplant. Juliet, we'd like to get together and discuss next steps with you as a team. What is it? Your kidney function hasn't quite improved to what we would have expected. But we're still waiting on a few more test results. We'll know more this afternoon. If you don't mind hanging on, we'll get everyone together about uh, two o'clock. Gives us a bit more time to do more manifesting. I'll leave you to it. Hey. It's gonna be okay. Remember positivity? Right, close your eyes. You're back on the beach. Inhale. to rearrange in my living room. Phew, I thought you were Juliet. We are doing a little welcome home party. Well, she's too sick for all this. Yeah, we just wanted to surprise her. Yeah, get a little freebies, it'll, it'll cheer her up. Oh, nothing like the personal touch, eh? Yeah, and do you know what? You're not the only two. No, our pairs have spent all morning doing a surprise. Well, that's fine, we'll just, we'll take it down. Oh, uh, right, out the way. It's okay, I've got it. Ow. Are you all right, babe? Yeah, she's all right. Do you know what? This is not all right. Both of you, take your freebies and go home before you bleed all over the carpet. <sighs> Mum, I'm sorry. Oh, nice one, Mum. All we wanted to do was try and make an effort for Juliet. <sighs> dog at one. Who's coming? Uh, uh, Sam, Lizzie? No, well, that's to be expected. What? Go! Oh, where are you going? I need to spill coffee all over me. Oi, I was speaking to her like that was an accident. Fine. Just be more careful next time. Hello. Rain, please. I'm sorry. Mum's stressed and she just took out on you. Your entire family hate me. No, they don't. It's just a lot going on right now. Jules finds out whether she can have a stem cell transplant today and the wedding... Well, then maybe I should just back off. Well, if you do, then I do. But I'm not going to the wedding. Dad can find himself a new best man. No, Romeo, you're going to be at that wedding. Why? It's stupid. So much unnecessary pressure. Because if we didn't show up, your family would hate me even more than they already do. That's on them. No, it's not. It's on you. You need to fix this before Friday. So, Julia, we wanted to talk about next steps. We've had those results back now, and the tests and scans confirm that your kidney function hasn't improved. It's been made worse by the cancer. You see, during the time that you stopped having chemo, the cancer was active and it spread. I'm really sorry to have to tell you that. Okay. 
Okay. So what does that mean? It means that we feel we're not able to give you the stem cell transplant. And you're not well enough to withstand further chemo, I'm afraid. What? So what I'm saying is, we're sending you home because there's no more treatment that we can offer you. I'm so sorry. No. No, you can do more chemo. Further aggressive chemo at this stage. be the one that I want to spend the rest of my days with. Is that everything? Can I go home now? My name is Neve Blackshaw and I play Juliet Nightingale on Hollyoaks. If you've seen tonight's episode, you'll know that Juliet's Hodgkin's lymphoma is now terminal. Over the next few weeks, you'll see Juliet tell loved ones, live out her last days, and then she is going to die. As a way to commemorate Juliet as a character and to do something positive, we want to come together and share stories of loved ones who may have been touched by cancer. You can use the hashtag Ode to My Juliet, and we'd love to hear your stories, the joyful memories, things that remind you of that person, and how you may have managed bereavement. You can be as creative as you'd like, whether that's uploading a picture, a video, or even a poem that you may have written. If you go to Hollyoaks' TikTok page, you'll see videos of Juliet's story, which you can green screen, duet, and stitch. Just please make sure that anyone else who may have been affected by your story is happy for you to post. Our loved ones may no longer physically be with us, but they'll live on in our memories and their legacy will have an impact on those closest to them forever. So, thank you and goodbye from me and Jules.